Hey guys, back to do uh, part two of my uh, Solo Requiem review today. So, yesterday we looked at Soundwave. So, uh, let's see who's on the agenda today. So yeah, today we are going to look at uh, Slugfest. Heroic Decepticon Slugfest, no less. Um, so yeah, here he is in his cassette mode, and um, all the cassettes, like all the previous sort of Japanese releases, come with these um, plastic outer cases you can keep them in. I'll just take them out of that for you so you get a better look. Put that to one side for the minute. So uh, this is his cassette mode. Let's see if we can get this in nice and close. There we go, there's a nice uh, close-up of his cassette mode. Try and keep my hand as still as possible, but it's not easy. Um, so yeah, um, he's got some nice printed detail there on the front. It's all There's no stickers on these, it's all, all printed detail. Unfortunately, um, he's got a kind of, almost like kit for a cassette, it's a bit kibbly. You've got the, um, the legs up here, which well, will, will obviously become the legs because they're in a different colour plastic um, they stick out like a sore thumb and then down here you've also got his eye from his uh, animal mode so it's it's not the best cassette mode um, it's, it's, in fact it's probably one of the weakest I've seen actually um, on, the, on the other side there you've got exactly the same problem with the uh, with the legs showing he does have a rub symbol. Let's see if I can get that to work like so. Let's see if that will zoom enough to let you see that. Probably not. Oh, no, zoom back out again. Ah, it was there for a second. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's a sort of. I don't know how well it's going to show, but it might look a bit darker on camera. He's a sort of a pale pale red mate or maybe orange sort of colour sort of somewhere in between the two um, but yeah let's uh, get him transformed and have a look at his uh, animal mode And so here he is in his dinosaur form. I think it's a Stegosaurus, basically a very sort of simplified Stegosaurus. So a bit like Snarl. But um, yeah, he's you know, it's a very simple transformation, even by cassette standards, really, on this one. Um, but he does uh, look pretty good, I think. Um, the weapons, these weapons, really really nice colour on them. Um, normally you get sort of uh, silver chrome or gold chrome on all these sort of cassettes um, but this is kind of like a sort of I don't know whether you'd call it a bronze or copper maybe and it, it, it really does pop I don't think my camera's going to do it justice but when I opened the box um, initially um, and you saw you can't see all the accessories um, you can just see the actual cassettes and Soundwave and Blaster and then you see all the accessories, and I hadn't, I hadn't realised these were colourized, and really did draw the attention straight away. But yeah, he's he's very simple, um, nothing overly complex. I mean, his his feet will move independently of each other, um, very limited sort of articulation. Uh, my camera doesn't want to focus on the toy, but that's fair enough. And I do like the way these spikes are kind of. They're on a spring, and so it's a kind of a little bit of automorph um, when transforming. Um, obviously, doesn't look as good from this side because you've got kind of the let's get, zoom back in. He's got kind of the tape deco there, so he's obviously he's meant to be this this way around in this mode. Let's just keep him there for a second. I do like the way the um, the weapons make him a little bit more sort of 3D as well which really happens on all the um, the weapons really on, on cassettes because they're very flat for obvious reasons 
But Slugfest is um, he's sort of portrayed as a very sort of simple um, creature. I think he was originally just sort of um, constructed as a drone, basically, or something along those lines. And then they were kind of given um, proper life via an ember, which is like the shattered glass equivalent to um, a spark, basically, um, from what I understand. Um, he sort of speaks in a very sort of think cartoon Dinobots that kind of sort of speech where it's not completely you know it's not very articulate shall we say um, it is part of a, probably one of the best exchanges in the in the comic bit this is one of my favourite bits this did make me laugh um, you've got Soundwave here trying to um, fix all the electronics on on Earth because it's all gone mad where it's been the planet's been moved into another uh, another universe and you know <laughs> You got Slugfest over here saying Slugfest, I'm helping, and plus um, Soundwave responds with, "Dude, you're totally not." <laughs> I did make me laugh, um, and I've now dropped him on the floor. But yeah, so he's he's very sort of simple, um, simple toy, simple personality really. Um, he sort of he tries his hardest, but he's just not very bright. But he's quite strong. Um, and he's quite energy efficient. He's got these. Um, let's come back in on the weapons again. I do like these weapons. They are probably the nicest weapons actually I've ever seen on a cassette. And they're kind of like solar panelled, basically at the top there, and that sort of uh, makes them much more energy efficient. Apparently, uh, these are vibro cannons. Um, exactly what they do um, is as you're guessing as mine. I'm guessing sort of shock waves or something along those lines, maybe. But yeah, he's not a bad little toy. He's, um, I wouldn't say he was the, one of the you know the best um, of the cassettes that are in this set. Um, but he's certainly interesting. Um, I'd say that he's got the best accessories. I, I really do like those accessories. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a few more um, uh, weaponry coloured in, in in these colours. But um, it kind of makes him a bit unique as well, actually. So. Uh, so yeah, quite a nice little, um, nice little figure. I wasn't when I saw the picture initially. I wasn't kind of that excited by this one, but he's kind of growing on me. I think um, not my favourite one, and we'll come to him soon. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe no. We'll we'll see. Um, but yeah, I say he's a, he's definitely a grower. This one. You also get um, like all the other ones. You get this piece of. Um, like the bio card with the tech specs on. Let's put that in so we'll zoom. Is it gonna zoom? There we go. Yeah, I really I really do like the artwork. These um these come with all these e hobby things. I'm a big fan of the e hobby releases just because they're um pretty unique really and I like sort of finding obscure and hard to get things. Um there's his tech specs on the back. Um, can't tell you the individual categories because it's in Japanese but they all add up to 48 which I think is possibly the lowest out of all of the um, all of the ones in this set but that's I think basically because he's just not very bright in the slightest um, so yeah there we go that's Shattered Glass Slugfest and um, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one thanks for watching catch you later